Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only. Hard about it in the building! What's going on? What's up, brother? How are you? Good, you? I'm doing better now. I appreciate you. For those that may not know you, sir, can you please yes. pr properly introduce yourself? Let me know where in the bouts in the world you are at the moment. Plug and promote anything you'd like. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm a solo metal artist from Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, you can find me on TikTok, uh, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. Just about everything. Yeah, just about everything. And is it is it at Heart Divided Band on everything? Yeah. Cool. Just want to throw that out there to yeah, make sure they YouTube know. It's just Heart Divided, though. Got you. Dude, I appreciate you being here, man. My, my first question for you is... Uh, how how hard is it being a one man band? Can you go through the process of how a song is created from scratch to the point it gets to us? So when I write, I usually come up with like a cool riff in my head and I'm like, oh, that's something that I could work with. And typically the riffs that I start out with would be um, the chorus to the song. Um, and usually what I'll do is I'll track all the chorus parts first, I'll do the lead to the chorus of the guitars, and then I'll do the rhythm over that. Uh, from there, um, I use the program Easy Drummer, and I'll do all my drums and drop them in there. Uh, bass comes last, and then I'll send it over um, to uh, the people doing my mixing and mastering. I had a friend doing it, but I'm moving over uh, to the guys in New Year's Day because they've been absolutely amazing to work with and they've been taking my mixes to the next level uh they'll go in and they'll like tweak the drum midi to sound uh more realistic and stuff give it the the tlc that it needs and then it goes out to you guys so new, that's new year's day that does the extra drum tweaking that you're saying yeah yeah yeah. my other guy was doing it as well uh they'll take the midi and they'll rearrange it to be more so realistic. they do more than just mixing and mashing they do they add like a little finesse Ex executive production at the last minute prior to the mix. Yeah, they'll add in like synth and stuff. That's awesome. Um, cool vocal effects. Very, very cool. Hell yeah. Uh, you, you're very familiar with JB, I imagine. Uh, you've seen him on the show. JB, Hart right here. Yes. What's up, dude? Uh, and uh, what questions do you have for him? Yo, Hart, how's it going, buddy? Thank you so much Good, for being you. on the show today. Uh, my question to you is, is this your first music project or have you been a, a part of uh, another band or w whether? So, yeah, I've never been a part of a band before. Um, I started in 2017 doing covers with my friend in his basement of all the, the big bands like uh, Motionless and White, Trivium, Slipknot. Uh, from there, um, I wanted to put out my own stuff. That was always the goal to put out my own stuff, but I never had... Uh, the means, the budget, the tools, um, the gear to do it. And um, now I'm I'm in a fortunate place where I can get that stuff going. And um, I think I dropped my first album 2020 in December. And from there, it's just been getting better, living the dream and starting to get my name out there. Do uh, you, for live show reasons, do you want to have a full band or do you anticipate yourself performing just like with the full band sound, but as a solo artist? I've played one show so far uh, back in December, and I played the entire things with backing tracks. It was just me up there. Um, I wouldn't mind the idea of having a full band behind me at this time. All of my friends who are musically inclined are doing their own projects separately. Um, so for now, I don't mind being up there by myself owning the stage. Um, but in the future, if um, the opportunity arises to get a few more members. Hell yeah, cool. Uh, I know you brought some hot sauce. You sent me the picture earlier. Yes, what, sir. What movie or TV show have you seen the most? Where if I ask you trivia on this movie or TV show, you will not get stumped. Oh, God, I'm going to have to say something Marvel. I got my Marvel movie poster behind me, so I'm hoping that uh, I can keep up with the Avengers. <laughs> so you want me to pick a particular Avengers movie or just something Avengers? Uh, something Avengers and... Hopefully, I don't end up chugging Frank's Red Hot. Have you seen uh, uh, the new Guardians yet? No, I haven't seen the new Guardians. My girlfriend and I have to go see that this week. For sure. 
Have you have you ever considered having uh like a big feature on a song for for number quick numbers reasons? Um, I have considered having features. Now that I'm working with New Year's, I've been anxious to pop the question if um we could I could do something with them. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for the right moment. Maybe do a little more work with them before asking a question like that. Um. And then maybe uh, inviting some of my other friends who are musically inclined doing other projects to jump in on a single with me here and there. Cool. Uh, JB, what you got? So at the moment, you said that you you have been just playing by yourself on stage. Do you have plans to have any more shows? Like, or do you have anything scheduled currently? Or um, are you looking for shows? Or are you kind of just staying back trying to work on your music at the moment? I am looking for shows currently. Um, I'm always looking for an opportunity to play. Um, I've been reaching out to a bunch of promoters here and there. Uh, I did um, apply to play at a uh, big show in Salem, Massachusetts called Hope Fest, which promotes LBGTQ. Um, so hopefully I'm I'm waiting to hear back if I get on on that. So yeah, always looking for shows. Right oh yeah, awesome. Let's do some trivia. In the Avengers. What element does Dr. Selvig need to work on the Tesseract? I think that one stumped me already. <laughs> it's a it's a periodic table of elements element. Is your hint. Like helium or, or something yeah. along the lines of that. <laughs> what is your guess? Plutonium. You're close, but that is not correct. <clears throat> In, enjoy the hot sauce. Iridium is the answer we're looking for. Uh, is there a particular song? I know we played the the new one that comes out in July. Maybe Imperfection is the, the one we go now? Yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah. If you guys are watching, please go on Spotify. Look up Heart Divided. Hit that follow button like I have right there. Let's help them out. This is Imperfection. Is your mouth on fire? I kind of like this fight, so, uh... I'll jump in on some hot sauce with you. I'll do the same with you. We put him in earlier, Taiwan. He's already on. Now I noticed this one has like a similar art design to to Broken. Is this all like uh, a collection of songs that are going to be on like EP or or an album in the future? So um, the first song I did with New Year's was Dreams of the Dead right there. Uh, the second song I did was Imperfection. The third being Broken. And I got one more uh, that I'm going to send to them next month. And I want all of those uh, to be a part of my next full-length album. So we're going to do one more single. And I asked the guys in New Year's if we could um, start talking about doing the full length, which is probably going to be 13 songs total. Hell yeah, awesome. Uh, do you and, uh, do you want it done? I was maybe, I guess that would be like maybe summer of next year when all of them are done and ready to be released or would it be earlier than that? Oh, way earlier. So being a solo artist, um, I find it a lot easier to just sit at my desk and just crank them out. Um, I don't have to share um, creative differences with anyone. So really it's just, I'll get an idea in my head, and next thing you know, it's in my DAW. Um, I already have about seven instrumentals that are ready for me to just put lyrics to, and then as soon as the lyrics are done, um, I usually take like a week or two to just make sure um, all the takes are good with the lyrics, and then I just send them out. So the, the next album could be uh, November, December is what I'm aiming for. Awesome. So not too far out. That's cool. Not too far out. 
If uh, if you could tour the world and play anywhere, where what one country would you want to play more than any other spot? One country, um, Australia, probably. Me too. I want to go to Australia more <laughs> than anywhere. I want to see the koalas and the kangaroos. Yeah, dude, the kangaroos, hell yeah, <laughs> and the koalas. That'd be cool. Uh, JB, shoot off another one. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can stop them one more time. Yeah. Um... My last question, or if it's the last question, my next question it would be, um, if music would be, or if you couldn't do music and you had to do something completely different tomorrow and it was completely stripped from you, what is the lasting impression you would uh, want to leave with your music? I just want everyone to know, and this is going to sound kind of like every band out there, but I really want my music to be a, a place where my lyrics will relate to you and make people feel like um, they're being heard. Um, a lot of my songs in my last album, Reflections, dealt with um, heavy emotional mental health topics. So I want to try to relate to people who are feeling um, in, a, in a bad place and let them know that um, they're being heard and represented. I love that. That's, right that's cool. We're going to stump you one more time right here. I just know it. Here we go. In the Avengers, which you picked, what yes. do the Avengers use to help them stop the Shitara, Sh Chai Chaitari forces? It starts with C H I Chaitari forces. What what did they use to help them stop it? I need to brush up on my movies. God. Um. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stumped right there. Okay, we got him. <laughs> A nuke, a nuclear bomb. It was the answer. I was gonna say Hulkbuster. Yeah, we would have accepted just nuclear bomb, but <laughs> Hulkbuster is close. Uh, so let's say, let's say in November, Decemberish, the album is out. You said New Year's Day is gonna probably do all the most of the production, if not all of it, for that. Um, yeah. What would you like aside from that coming back, coming out? What would you like to look back on 2023 and say, I accomplished these things? Like, what other goals do you have for yourself personally? I think that uh, this year I've done a lot of growth on my social media pages. So if you are following me, uh, thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate that as a solo artist. Um, I'm just me, so I don't have six others or four others to help me with the networking. So I, I do appreciate all the follows. Um I, I do remember the day I was at work and um, just connecting with New Year's was absolutely mind blowing. Um, them being such a big band that I've seen live a million times. Hold on one second. Uh, that was going to be my qu my next question is how did you uh, meet them and link <laughs> up with them? So it like ties into the story. Yeah. Um, so I was at work and um, their guitarist, uh, Jeremy Valentin, posted that their new song hurts like hell reached like 500,000 views and uh just like being supportive i swiped up and i said like hey congratulations whatever i said something positive not thinking that they would um respond back and next thing you know he responded back like saying thanks man or something something super nice and um we started talking about my music and next thing you know he asked if he could hear a demo and i was thinking in my head i'm like oh my god like they People don't just ask to hear a demo unless they're somewhat like interested in your work, right? So I'm like, oh yeah, like um, you can hear it. It's not like that good, but uh, eat your heart out. It turned and out then, it was pretty good and he was feeling it. Absolutely. He was like, oh, this is great. Um, we do mixing and mastering too. We being um, Jeremy Valentin and uh, the bassist Brandon Wolf. And next thing you know, um, I'm on the phone with Jeremy of New Year's Day discussing mixing and mastering and uh, production. And I was absolutely beside myself because I, I never would have thought that uh, me being the guy making music at home would have ever had this sort of opportunity. So I'm, I'm just super grateful that this year I was able to uh, take the next step in elevating my music and um, making sure it sounds amazing for everyone who takes the time out of their day to listen. That is awesome. You got to stay social media savvy because you never know who who will respond back, who will read your message, who and that just sounds like they wanted to just be like, thank you for supporting our band 
and then just led to now you guys are business buddies. That is so cool. I, I got to say that they are two of the nicest people I've ever had the pleasure of, of working with. And I am so grateful for how chill, uh, responsive, um, every time I ask for something in a mix, they, they deliver a hundred percent. Um, when they dropped the, the final mix for broken this morning, I, I wrote back, I was like, this is exactly what I wanted this song to be. Thank you so much for your generosity and working with me. And, and I always try to, um, thank them cause I know that they're, um, so beyond, um, my skills and they're so far ahead that you got to stay humble and just constantly thank them for even um acknowledging you know what i mean like it's such an honor i can tell that you're a really really humble guy brother which is uh just cool you're you're a chill laid back cat i i want to i want to break you out of your cycle just a little bit though so this will be my yeah. last question and then i'll send it to jb but my last question for you is all of a sudden it's november New Year's Day is like, yo, you didn't even know this, but we showed Sony. They want you. Here, here comes the huge signing bonus. It's millions. Aside from a house, aside from a car, aside from taking care of your family, girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. What is just a really cool, expensive toy or two you've always wanted, and now it won't even dent the bank that uh, you can afford to buy these cool, fun toys? So I have two guilty spending pleasures um, that my girlfriend yells at me about all the time. Uh, one of them is um, Kiesel Custom Guitars. Uh, I love them. I just put in a build with them. Um, so I probably put in another build with Kiesel. Um, great guitars. And um, two, the, the embarrassing guilty spending pleasure is uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger toys, the collectibles. I love collecting those, the old ones. Um, so I'd probably get a few more for the collection, put them on the shelf. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Uh, did you ever get to meet any of the Power Rangers in real life at like a con or anything? Oh God, um, this is sad. Uh, we went to this um, vintage toy shop in in Massachusetts. Uh, called Toy Vault, just just wandering in because sometimes they have some really cool stuff from like the 80s and and whatnot. And they asked if we heard about the Jason David Frank signing, and we're like, well, no. And they're like, oh, next month, like Jason David Frank, the Green Mighty Morphin Ranger, is going to be here signing autographs. And I'm like, holy shit! So yeah, so I ran back <laughs> home. And I grabbed every piece of memorabilia, uh, gathered it all up and then um yeah the day came i got to meet him got my picture with him uh, and then hearing of his passing i was like wow shit i i met him like just uh at the end there but i'm i'm so grateful that i got to meet one of my childhood heroes yeah that that is that's a good good story and a good time right there r.i.p yeah. uh send him out jb what's your final question well i gotta hit him with the og question b gene what is a, what is some advice you would give a local band or uh, a band just starting up, um, whether it be don't do this or something encouraging? So um, things to not do is jump the gun on buying expensive gear. Um, definitely do your research on stuff that you do need. Um, I used to have a rack that's like right off to my left full of like high end thousand dollar guitars that I thought that I just needed and. I, I've sold all of those gone away and different pieces of uh, recording equipment that you may or may not need. Just do your education before you buy stuff. Really watch some videos, uh, find some guys in local bands that you may or may not know and ask them what they use. Um, so at the end of the day, I'm just using my Scarlet, really, <laughs> one interface and a laptop. Um, always try to like stay humble and, and don't think too highly of yourself. It's okay to have a little pride, but know when it's too much and always say your thanks to everyone who's sort of helped you to be in the position that you are. Cause um, I, I just think that everyone should be kind to one another and respect. And that's like huge in this community is to respect and be kind to one another, be humble, never, never be rude, you know, that is always help each other out. Very good advice for sure. And I agree with you. I don't think in in now in, in current twenty twenty three 
when maybe 25, 30 years ago you did, you don't really need that much gear now. It's all in like the programs and the VSTs and apps and stuff can do just about everything. Um, you can basically make a whole album with a with a just a keyboard which can play a piano and a microphone and MIDI. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's wild. Well, dude, we appreciate you hanging out with us for a little bit. Uh, much love. We're excited about about the album coming out in probably November, but not only that, but but Broken coming out officially to the world in uh, in July. It sounded great today. You're on the poll. We'll Thanks. see. We'll see what happens. But uh, have an awesome day, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you in chat soon, dude. Thanks for kicking it with us. Yes, sir. All right, thanks, guys. See ya. Yeah, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, hard Give to fight it! Oh, yeah.